four of the robberies happened overnight, but what's more concerning is that the most recent one took place right here in broad daylight. With one incident here and another down the street and three more in one day, police are now wondering how many more there were that they don't know about. That was the reaction outside the Supreme Court earlier this morning. People chanting USA and then thank you. While the father was outside of his truck, the two year old was in the cab and somehow got it out of gear, rolled down the driveway and into the Williams basement. Friends and family members have set up a memorial for Stephen right outside his home, but police are still searching for two suspects. John was able to reach out to the doctor, but now we're going to see more and more schools in Georgia helping their students find internships and opportunities like this one. The good thing about the surveillance in this gas station is that it has audio. Now that's not only going to help in finding the suspect, but it also could be used as evidence in the court. Number nine, the Army is drawing down its forces, and that means Georgia's Fort Stewart will lose a brigade strength unit. These are just some of the new high-end retailers of this multi-million dollar project. May took the oath of office here at the county administration building just shortly after Governor Deal suspended Burl Ellis. The judge decided to let him out on a $250,000 bond and 24-hour house arrest. His attorney says he probably won't be able to leave until tomorrow. Outside the Clayton County Courthouse, I'm Hannah Patrick, 11 Alive News. Number five, celebrity chef Paula Dean will sit down for an exclusive interview on this Today Show in about 30 minutes as she faces accusations of racial discrimination. Internships have always been a great learning tool and a way to get your foot in the door, but most internships, like the one here at 11 Alive, are designed for college students. John Giuliano, a rising senior at Westminster High School, decided he didn't want to wait. Yesterday, I saw him do surgery, and he did five surgeries. That's right. John has been shadowing Dr. Hannah in the OR and in the office for the past two days. Well, I thought it's always good to start early, so I, I should get a sense of what I want to do before I, uh, I do it. Most internships require applications, but Dr. Hannah was so impressed with John's cover letter that he brought him in. Uh, never hurts to ask. You know, I think it's important to reach out, and, you know, just through any contact. John was able to reach out to the doctor, but now we're going to see more and more schools in Georgia helping their students find internships and opportunities like this one. Gilda Lyon, the science, technology, engineering, and math coordinator at the Georgia Department of Education, wants high schools to start giving these kinds of opportunities to their students. So we need to let kids find out what do they love, what are they passionate about before they get out of high school, because he says college is the most expensive career development tool there is. Internships and even just job exposure are successful ways to jumpstart your career, whether it is in college or even earlier in high school. This corner in Midtown looks calm now, but this past week it was a prime location for an unusual amount of robberies. What, five street robberies in four days? Uh, that's, a, that's a big concern. Peggy Denby, the president of the Midtown Pont Security Alliance, says that this kind of thing usually happens in the summer, but they never know when the next one will take place. Her biggest concern is to get the word out. She believes some of these crimes could have been prevented. You know, don't be it on the street at 2.30 or 3 o'clock in the morning by yourself. Um, be aware, be alert, and be safe. And, you know, you can do that. You don't have to be a victim. All five of these robberies took place within blocks of each other. Four of the robberies happened overnight, but what's more concerning is that the most recent one took place right here in broad daylight. This is about the same time Stephanie Matthews walks her dogs every day. She wasn't aware of these robberies. Three of them happened right outside of her building. Definitely think twice about walking by myself. <laughs> walking in groups and just being aware can help prevent these crimes. The Atlanta Police Department also says they are going to increase their security in this neighborhood. Hannah Patrick, 11 Alive News. On Sunday, July 7th, this Marathon gas station in Henry County was robbed, but not for the first time. Last year who did that, yeah, he got caught. He's uh, behind bars, uh, you know, I think he got life in prison. One of the clerks at the gas station says it has been robbed multiple times in the last year. The event was caught on video as well as audio, so you can hear some of that audio. It's pretty compelling to to know what actually happens in an in armed robbery. It's pretty frightening. So The key to finding the suspects of these robberies that take place at this gas station seem to be the abundance of security. Open. 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 
The good thing about the surveillance in this gas station is that it has audio. Now that's not only going to help in finding the suspect, but it also could be used as evidence in the court. The clerk says that the suspect was armed with a silver gun and wearing a ski mask, but when it fell off, he could tell that the boy was definitely under 18. He, he could harm, you know, he's carrying a gun, you know, a police officer stop him or something happened, you know, he can be killed, you know, that guy for three, four hundred bucks, you know. Police are asking if you recognize the suspect from the video or the audio to please contact them immediately. Hannah Patrick, 11 Alive News. This is not what most people expect when they come home, but this was George and Kathleen Williams' reality when they got back from shopping today. A car parked in my house. A little red truck from across the street. What did you driven think when by, you saw it? Driven by a two-year-old. That's right, George's neighbor, a two-year-old, drove his dad's truck right across the street into his basement. While the father was outside of his truck, the two-year-old was in the cab and somehow got it out of gear, rolled down the driveway and into the Williams basement. Although it was going at a fairly slow speed, the truck was going fast enough to go through a brick wall and break a water line. However, the structural damage is not what George was concerned about. Things can be fixed. People can't, so everything's fine. Even though they have a huge hole in their house right now, George and Kathleen are still able to live in the house while they wait for repairs. Hannah Patrick, 11 Alive News.